Hello, Pisces. My name is Psychic Torre, and welcome to your weekend shuffle. Okay, let's get started. The cards that we're using this week are the dream cards. So they do represent the dream state and the messages from them, as well as your waking dreams, what's in your mind of your you're dreaming about and, and in your heart, your dreams within your heart. Let's go. Let's get this party started, Pisces. Oh, that one just jumped right out. And that is marriage. So you see these cards have like six languages on them. Really great cards for my collection. Marriage, 37, which is a 10, which is a 1. New beginnings. Woo, family of origin. So looking at all the different cultures and the people in this picture as well, maybe we come from a lot of different places in our uh, genealogy. Successful enterprises and requited love. So good for you, Pisces. Followed by, oh, another colorful card, people of other cultures, is foreigners. 68, which is a 5 in numerology, 14 to 5. Change. Perhaps lots of new direction, new growth, travel even. So we have foreigners talking about brotherly love. Brotherly love and mutual aid and affability. So look at this card and see all the blending of everyone and resources. We're all helping each other. I hope you're doing that right now during these times, Pisces. Coming up with a new, oh, look at that, a new marking, a tattoos. So I know we can't visit those places right now. Uh, if you're thinking about a tattoo, here's the 70, which is seven. That could be a shedding of the skin or changing of the skin, an inking happening. Yes, very colorful. And uh, just doing the outline and getting things ready. You can see all that that is happening. So what does tattoos really mean? Well, uh, you know, making the mark, illusion sometimes, uh, creating a little world on your skin and you're living in that world. Could be also fertile imagination and ostentation. Hmm. All right, this is in reverse, Pisces. What is it? It's 65. It is burying. So you see that there are wings, wings, all the people around have birds and things that they're burying. What is it that you need to bury, to detach from, to relocate and move on? And that is also 65 is a um, an 11, which is a master number, light worker number. And here we have Harlequin. A colorful person, lots of colorful uh, energies coming in. But then we have this one person down here, number four, who likes everything very balanced and very structured. And, and here's all these colors coming at him and what to do. Well, this is an indicator of being a little more diplomatic. So maybe not just like, it's my way or the highway. And maybe some shrewdness would be involved in business dealings, uh, constructive abilities, try to look at things in a different way, different light, new colors. So finding your base, your grounding, Harlequin. And finally, your bonus card is in reverse. It is number 36, Masquerade. Oh, look at all the people down below. And thankfully, this card is in reverse. So no one playing games with you here, Pisces. This is time for joy and a solidarity and being frank. So what does this all mean for you? Well, all I can say is, yay, Pisces, a colorful time for you, my friend. So see all those colors that added up to something beautiful. Blessings of love and assistance and overall magnetic and good attractions Woof. time to detach from what ails you and get precise with your words in order to present to others the deepest truth of things the deepest truth remember to think before you speak pisces but please do not continue to hide 
or repress the truth. You're only hurting yourself, and after all, you want the best that life has to offer. Right? Right, Pisces? So, this has been just a general reading for you, Pisces out there. And if something resonated with you, please remember to click on the links below to uh, like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on other social media. And I hope that you have a wonderful weekend and a great week ahead. Wishing you all the best. And let me know if you like this video and I'll make more like this. You know, what you thought of the lighting, etc. So I'll see you next time, Pisces. Namaste.